I went for a physical. President Trump is going after claims that he suffered a health crisis. I went, did a very routine, just a piece of it, the rest of it takes place in January, did a very routine physical. I was out of there very quickly, I got back home. And I get greeted with the news that we understand you had a heart attack. <laughs> the president spoke today at a cabinet meeting. The press really in this country is dangerous. We don't have freedom of the press in this country. We have the opposite. Reporters tried to ask follow-up questions, but an aide told them it was time to leave. The airwaves are still buzzing about the unannounced visit to Walter Reed, which took place over the weekend. The White House is dismissing skepticism surrounding the president's health. President Barack Obama's former personal physician, Dr. David Shiner, is among those with serious questions. Does it sound realistic that this was a routine checkup of President Donald Trump? No, that's obviously ridiculous. It's something that needed to be attended to quickly, but not quite of an emergency level. I worry about his neurological status. He's having trouble finding words. And when you have trouble finding words, you have to assume that there is some kind of a neurological problem. Monday night at 9.50 p.m., the White House physician, Dr. Sean P. Conley, released a statement to tamp down the firestorm. Despite some of the speculation, he did not undergo any specialized or neurologic evaluations. He also revealed that the president has consented to me sharing his latest cholesterol levels. It's 165, down from last February's reading of 196. His LDL, or bad cholesterol, fell to 84 from 122. His good cholesterol, or HDL, was 70, up from 58. It appears that his cholesterol level has decreased, which is a good thing. Uh, but uh, an exercise treadmill test would be more helpful in evaluating the present state of his cardiovascular condition. You went to the hospital.